all of a sudden there were feathers everywhere. There was blood flying everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, why? <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia. I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Chickens have been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life. And I wanna help you find that too. You still have a little bit of blood on you. <laughs> oh. All right, Bubba, I'll put you down. So right before Christmas this year, there was an insane snowstorm where I live. This was just like a frozen wasteland. My chickens didn't have as much enrich enrichment as I usually try to make sure they have when they are confined to the coop and the run. You know, they had their little dust bath and everything and they have enough space. But, you know, I didn't have the supplies to make a treat block for them. I didn't have the supplies to make a suet treat for them. I didn't even have a cabbage that I could like tie up for them. It really caught me off guard and I wasn't prepared for the fact that nobody would be traveling anywhere because everything was covered by a sheet of ice. So by the third day of really extreme weather, my chickens had been in their coop. They had been in their little smaller run and I was hearing this commotion. I was like, what is that? Well, I looked in the little run and my two younger roosters, Zorro and Bubble Yum, who were born this spring, they were fighting like full on blood, bloody faces, chasing each other, pulling out feathers. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna kill each other. The sad part about all this is that Bubble Yum and Zorro are brothers and they had always gotten along really well. Now there is always the potential for problems when you have more than one rooster in a in a flock. They will sometimes, you know, especially young roosters that are kind of coming up, they will decide to challenge the head rooster and that can cause some fighting. But usually that you know, after they fight a little bit, they will back off from each other once they've established dominance. But these chickens were just fighting, fighting, fighting. So I didn't have any choice. I had to get Zorro and just put him inside. And so I brought him into the garage. He's all bloodied up. I dealt with that. I dealt with Bubble Yum being, you know, injured. And I just started thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do because even if I could just like rehome one of them right away, I, there was no getting out of here. Like it, it was, you could not drive anywhere. And the other thing is I'm like totally attached <laughs> to both of them, especially Zorro. So I was like, ugh, I don't want to rehome one of these, one of these roosters. Before we go any further, you should know that I completely understand that I have too many roosters in my flock. I was just talking about this the other day on my podcast. I need to get some more hens. So that is in the works, but these things don't happen automatically. They take some time. So I'm working on it, but every flock has a different personality. And I have a relatively docile flock. And I think it's because I just have so many rescues and different kinds of chickens and ducks, and they have a ton of space. And so it's really easy to integrate chickens into this flock and everybody gets along pretty well until this happened. And then I was like, okay, I've got to take action right away. Many of you have been following me for a while and you know that I like to use homeopathy, which is a healing modality with my chickens. I use it on myself. I use it on my family. I use it on my dogs. A lot of people confuse the word homeopathy with the word holistic, and they think it just means like everything that is all natural. And that's actually not what it is. It's a very specific type of modality, but there's another modality that is called flower essences. And those work kind of in the same way that homeopathy does, but they're made out of the essence of flowers. And they are used for like the emotional side of things, like your mind, your spirit, and your emotions. So we were definitely having some emotions. <laughs> we were having some emotions in Chickenlandia. 
So when all this stuff was going on with Zorro, I remembered that there is this flower essence and it is called Vine. And it is for, I, I say that it is, it is for rude roosters, okay? And Zorro was definitely being rude. So, you know, I hadn't needed to use this before. I don't know why I've never used it on Philippe, but, <laughs> but I think I will after this. So I put a little bit on the back of Zorro's neck. I just kind of like rubbed it into his neck. I put a couple of drops of it in his water and I knew I only had about 24 hours before I needed to like get him back into the flock. Like if I, if I waited longer than that, then it could really be a problem when they're trying to work out the pecking order and I'm bringing in this you know, rooster that's been away from the flock. It's just, I just didn't want to deal with that. I knew it would be best to get him back into his flock as soon as possible. And in the morning, I gave him another dose and I was just like, okay, it's, it's like now or never, I've got to put him back with his flock and back with Bubble Yum. And you know what? They didn't fight. <laughs> they didn't fight and in fact since then they have been just like best buddies again they've been cooperative if there's any squabbling going on it's being resolved very quickly i can't say um you know without a doubt that it was the flower essence that did it but the thing that i love about homeopathy and flower essences and a lot of natural modalities is that um, they don't cause any harm. So even if they don't work, <laughs> you know that you're not going to cause harm. And that, that doesn't go for everything, not every, and especially herbals, like you have to be very careful. But with homeopathy and flower essences, it's just, it's so gentle that it's not gonna hurt them and it doesn't hurt to try. And in this case, it worked really well. So the one thing I wanna make sure I never do again is not have enough enrichment for my chickens so they end up with these problems because I, I really think that was a big part of this problem is that they just got bored and frustrated and they started fighting. So I do have a video about you know enrichment ideas and how to avoid problems and all the things that you can do to make sure that your chickens stay occupied and don't get into trouble. And that video is, I actually don't know where it is. I, it's right here maybe, or right here. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> But the link is somewhere in here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment. And I know you're going to love it.